I'm Callan Hobman. Here's a look at what we're following on this Monday. One man is dead and another hospitalized after a crash on East Truxton Avenue early Sunday. According to the Bakersfield Police Department, officers responded to the crash around 2.30 a.m. They found a car rolled over with two men injured in the roadway. Both had been ejected from the car during the crash. One died and the other was taken to a hospital for life-threatening injuries. Law enforcement say they believe alcohol and speed were factors. Meanwhile, as officers were investigating, a patrol car was hit by a separate vehicle. That driver was arrested on suspicion of driving while intoxicated. Anyone with information on this, call BPD at 327-7111. Meanwhile, a man is under arrest after he reportedly fired a gun at cars along Taft Highway over the weekend. Sheriff and CHP officials say they received multiple calls for a 53-year-old man pointing a handgun at passing cars and civilians around 9.30 Saturday morning. This was near the intersection of Highway 119 and the I-5. According to KCSO, one victim had a minor injury and only one unoccupied car was reportedly damaged. Ref deputies say they arrested the suspect and found the gun. Well, as we head into the new week and Valentine's Day around the corner, let's bring in Brian Gallo for your forecast. Uh, happy Monday, everyone. We got a shot of rain joining us really uh, beginning tomorrow. Keep that in mind. Very short lived and very small shot. Uh, chances are we'll be seeing snow in mountain areas, uh, snow levels at about 2000 feet. That's how we'll benefit from this. I don't see much rain heading our way. Air quality is moderate and winds on the calm side for us for the most part here on the valley floor. But come tomorrow afternoon, we're going to see these gusts pick up 20 plus mile per hour gusts on the valley floor tomorrow. So any preparation you might need, get on top of that. Look at these numbers fall considerably and then another shot of rain joins us as we move into this coming weekend. Sensational. It's great news for us as far as uh, the drought and our snowpack uh, lows in the 20s. Obviously very, very safe up in mountain areas. If you will, please. Definitely stay safe and warm out there this week. That'll do it for this update. We'll have another later today.